I'm not a star. Somebody lied. I got a pistol in the car. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Drake Genza here with another video, kind of a rest video because I just kind of found out something cool. Uh, just to start off, I'm just going to show you how to unlock uh, the settings to change the APN settings to use your 4G SIM card that's in your phone. Well, this is speaking for AT&T at the moment, uh, so that you can use the 4G SIM card that comes out of your 4G capable phone or even if you got an iPhone you can get a 4G capable SIM card and use it with your phone services but on your iPad to use the data now this is iPad 3 over here iPhone 4S over here a Galaxy S um, fucking Captivate from AT&T and my iPhone 4S is Verizon and there's a reason why it's there now I was looking online and I actually saw that uh, in a couple of places, places that uh, you can use a, an AT&T SIM card in a Verizon iPad 3 or the new iPad or whatever the fuck you want to call it. In any case, you can, but you can only use 3G services. And then I, I got to thinking, I'm like, I'm like, well, what if I can use my Verizon SIM card in my AT&T iPad? And it was kind of annoying because I had been trying to use this uh, SIM card, my 4G SIM card from the Captivate in here. Now this is a 3G phone, but I got a 4G SIM card and had my services activated on this phone. And it still works with 3G, but I wanted it to use it on here and it wouldn't work because I couldn't change the APN settings and it wouldn't allow me to use the data. But it would recognize it as an AT&T uh, SIM card. But anyway, I want to use the SIM card from here in here just to see if it would work. Now I put it in there and I kind of... And it didn't work, but one thing did work. It tricked the iPad into opening up the APN settings, and it had Vodafone and all that crap, but that's for Verizon. So what I did was, I pulled out the SIM card and put it in this iPad and changed the APN settings, and now it works with the 4G from my phone services. And I'm about to show you that. So first, uh, let me get rid of this thing things annoying as hell so to verify with you this is the new iPad with 4G and that's the SIM card from my AT&T phone I can never remember the name of that Android phone because I don't use the shits anyway so anyway so I'm gonna show you what I did but first I'm going to verify with you that that SIM card works on my phone services. Alright, so give me a little SIM card lock tool. And snatch that baby right on out. So, this here is a SIM card from my Captivate. Sorry, just having a few little folks and problems here. But anyway. <sighs> now I'm gonna take this SIM card and I'm going to put it in this little adapter that I got because the Captivate only takes a larger SIM Part, which I'm sure most of you already know. I'm gonna take this piece of shit and open it up. And most of you, if you're gonna be doing this anyway, you probably already got an Android because 4G is, hasn't come to the iPhone as of yet. So, okay. And we'll put this bad boy in here. It's a little difficult with this damn adapter thing. A little bit, just a little bit. Oh crap! Ah, oh, shit, fail. Okay, let's try the bullshit again. If I can get the damn, there we are. Uh. 
along with the video as soon as I get this shit in there. Yeah, well, well, maybe, somewhat. A little bit, yay, nay, nay. That bastard is not down in there the way it should be. Uh, I am so, so sorry. But I don't want to cut the video because I don't want to think no one thinks I edited this shit in there, so. Maybe it's in there, maybe not. Uh, oh, I got it, finally. Alright. I'm gonna boot this bitch ass phone. No, it's already damn booted. I don't know. Should be. A SIM card on the phone after you search SIM card, will you please reboot it. Okay, so I have to reboot it. <sighs> Sorry for the long ass vid. Half of this shit's gonna be just cause I was. Trying to get the damn SIM card in the phone. And then I'm just gonna make a test call to my iPhone. Put my password here. Uh, 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 uh. Should be booting up with the SIM card saying SIM. Okay, Android phones are so glitchy. Alright, so. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Yeah. So, you can see I got some bars. I got 3G going. Well, Edge anyway. But I'm gonna make a call, phone call to. The iPhone. Oh, six, nine. You know what? What the fuck? Oh. Hey, calling me here. Tip my hat to the sun of the west. Oh, there you go. Answer, uh, crap. So, on the phone, if I hang up, mm. hang up the phone. Alright, so now, I'm gonna show you what I did. So, anyway, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna actually take the SIM card out of this phone. Place it and the iPad. So, SIM card I'm using here out of my 4S. A little Verizon SIM card. Right? So, anyway, take the SIM tray iPad. Try not to mix up your uh, SIM trays too, because if you have to visit the Apple Store, it'll be all kinds of bullshit. Trust me. I know. Because I'm the one that will give you the bullshit. <laughs> Alright, so. Go ahead and put that in there. And so. Let me unlock this damn thing. <laughs> So if I go to cellular data over here, see it's it has my APN settings set up. If I go in there though, it's got the Vodafone information. Pretty much it's Verizon shit. Pretty much. But if I have in my AT&T SIM card, it's not gonna work. But what I'm gonna do is is I'm going to leave it on this page. 
I'm gonna leave it here. I'm not gonna move anything. And I'm going to swap out the sim. So while that's sitting there doing its thing, and I'm gonna show you now, it'll say searching with a Verizon sim card, but it's not gonna work. Now if you guys find out anything else cool, cool about this, anything you can do, do with this, let me know. Alright, so I'm gonna go back into this difficult ass bitch Android. Stupid fat battery that lasts for like a half an hour. And I'm gonna pull the damn SIM card out of there. And uh, I'm gonna pull out the Verizon. Meanwhile, keeping the APN string up so you can be able to change it. Now, when you look at it, when you go into the APN settings, it's going to say broadband, right? So what I learned a while back is that you should change that to phone. Just type in phone. Nothing fancy, no caps are needed, just type in phone. So this pull SIM card, uh, still on that page. And now I'm going to... Put in my AT&T 4G SIM card here. Same one, fresh out of the uh, stupid captivate. kind of hard for me to do this while I, you know, recording. So, you see up here, it's gonna, so you see where it says broadband? Just put the new SIM card in there. Right here where it says broadband. And sorry my camera cut out. I don't know what the hell's up with it. Just erase that shit and type in boom. Now go out and look, APN settings uh, tab is gone, but I'm on 4G again. So the settings are gone, so you can't change anything now. But watch this shit though. Go. I'm go to Safari. Let's go, go bitch. And it's working. I'm gonna go to speedtest.net, I guess. Just find them. And like I said before, I got kind of a treat for you. I'm gonna show you something. This might make a few people happy, especially if you travel abroad. I ain't really nothing new though, but I want to show this thing. The hell! I don't want the freaking app. Really? Like seriously? All right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just go to see that. It's slow because I have like no connection in my home, and I have this stupid AT&T 3G microcell thing, but it don't work too well. I think it's broken. <laughs> Come on, you bastard. Load. You're making 4G look bad. I'm making 4G look bad. But yeah, so as you can see here, I got 4G working on the iPad, which is pretty slick, I must say. I don't know what the hell I just tapped on. But anyway, so got that. So something else I want to show you guys. Yeah. Shit, I'm breaking stuff all over the place. This here is a SIM card from H2O. I cut it down to micro SIM size, but they run off of AT&T towers. And 
gonna put it in there. Now I haven't been able to get the data to work, but then now that I just figured out the APN settings or how to trick the uh, iPad into opening up the APN settings, maybe it's just a matter of putting in the correct settings to be able to use H2L with your iPad. Now it does work in iPhones like automatically. But yeah, I'm gonna put this H2O sim here. Oh shit. In this lovely little aluminum tray. Boom. And I'm gonna place it in the iPad. Like. Uh, hey, you have to go back and forth. In and out. Uh, like so. So now, I'm gonna wait for that thing to search, find it. Ooh. Come on. Surging, surging. Booyah! H2O4G. Right? Cool, right? But check that out. There's no data remaining on your current plan. Huh. It's just telling me, huh, maybe it'll work right out. I don't know. It's just telling me that I have no data left. So, that's just a quick demo, guys, to show you, hey, you can do some stuff with this bad boy. Now, if you guys figure out how to get the H2O to work on any other SIM card, please post it or do a video reply as to how you managed to get that to work. Ah, but I want to go ahead and get this out here before a half a week without having this type of information is just a half a week too damn long. Uh, not into jailbreaking, so that's pretty good to see that you can do this because I one I traveled to and forth from Japan a lot, and it'd be nice to be able to use my SIM card there. Cannot activate cellular network. You you are not subscribed to cellular data service, right? Whatever. Oh yeah, I am. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have to keep going back in and tricking this thing to open up the APN settings, but there you are. If you have any questions, please ask. Subscribe, comment, rate, all that good stuff. Have a good one. Ooh, it's lovely. Uh, sweet. I'm not a star. Somebody lied. I got a pistol in the car.